I want to improve my typing speed. If you're new here, my name is Francis. I'm studying for a doctorate in clinical psychology at Oxford University. A lot of my life involves typing, writing up research papers and proposals, writing essays, responding to emails, writing up client notes. Often typing away at all of these things, I find myself working past 5 p.m. Maybe because my course But it could also be because of my typing speed. So today marks day one of 30 of trying to change that, change my typing speed. I'm gonna practice typing five minutes a day for 30 days and see where we get to by the end. I'm gonna use this website called Keyboard, which seems to be the best one I've found, or well, the most aesthetic anyway. I also know that a lot of people on YouTube have fancy mechanical keyboards. I aspire to be one of those one day, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using this. This is a 10 pound, quite used keyboard from Home Bargains. The travel's quite short, which I hope helps typing. I don't know. I don't really know much about keyboards in general, but let's begin. Three, two, one. 85. We'll take that. Error count six, 98.6% .6 accuracy. Not bad. It's decent. So I guess let's practice my first five minute session. So the speed on this is a bit lower than on the test. It's 72. We seem to just be obsessing over keys today. These keys have a, a little bump, so you know to put your index fingers there and there. We've done five days and 26 minutes, 60 lessons. Average speed 58, so a bit lower than what I did in the test, but I think this is cause. I'm trying to use healthier typing skills. I think where I'm slowing down is that my fingers are moving very long distances. I have a habit of using my first finger to type lots of letters. I want to reach up to the Q or the P, which are really far away. But according to this diagram, for example, you should use your pinky on the Q and the P, and the A and the Z. Basically, all of this feels quite unnatural at the moment. When I try to type quicker, my technique just falls apart a bit and I kind of revert back to moving my right hand to like the left half of the keyboard and vice versa. If I deliberately slow down, I can get all the keys with the right fingers, but when it's speeding back up again, that's the challenge to speed back up and keep that technique going. Day eight, and I realized I wasn't recording myself. To make up for it, here is my learning progress overview for all the keys. The problem letters appear to be letter B, ironically. A y, a couple of reds, a couple of reds on P as well. Uh, M, K, J. There are a few letters where I I'm falling down a little, so hopefully we can work on these. Top speed 99.7, shit! I'm actually finding myself enjoying typing a lot more. There's less of a gap between my thinking and the words appearing on the screen. It's just a blast. Whoa. Whoa. Tell you what, the line of best fit goes straight up, straight up. I'm a typing speed, oh my days, it breaks it down by letter. Oh, J, I'm in the mud, bro. I'm <laughs> in the mud with J. How interesting that some of the letters are going down. Typing speed histogram, so J is lagging behind. E's seen a lot of action. J hasn't seen as much. Maybe that explains why I'm worse at it. 90 average speed today. 90. All right, Francis, how's it going? Well, hello. It's going very well, thanks. What are you up to? Uh, just practicing my typing, actually. So, practicing typing? Yeah. I've been doing it for two weeks straight now, so... so you haven't done your f***ing house chores, but you're sitting here doing your tippy-tapping practicing. Uh, what house chores am I meant to be? You're supposed to take out the bins. These stats I get, so I get stats like per letter how, how good my typing speed is, so... Francis, um, you really need to try Tinder. We're just halfway. I've got a celebratory Pano Chocolat from Morrison's, so... My relative typing speed, on average, is pretty high, and then my top speed just had a, an absolutely sensational round a few days ago, where I got to 112. My typing speed went down initially while I was trying to do my finger placement better, and then it just started going back up again. Kind of hit new heights here, but the accuracy has literally fallen off a cliff since about day eight, wallowing down here. But still, even that accuracy is a little better than what we started with. Look at that, miscount, miss hit ratio, this is, just unbelievable statistic. You know we're in deep when we're going on the subreddit for typing. So this guy thinks the recommended touch typing finger placements are suboptimal. C should be your first finger and B should be your 
first finger of your right hand. It is odd, isn't it? The way these diagrams want us to type is to like go diagonally down to the right. Obviously it's not symmetrical to do that. Bro's written an essay about why the letter C should be your first finger of your left hand. I think I've got to decide whether to go with the traditionally recommended keyboard finger placement or this guy on the r slash learn typing subreddit and his idea of essentially what I've been doing already. Bro's covered up all the keys, very nice. I do look down occasionally. I think it's when I don't really know what finger to press a key with, whereas on monkey type. Maybe we should try some different typing test websites. The world champion typist in 1908 typed 87 words a minute. What's an Underwood machine? I assume a typewriter. 87 words a minute on that. That is unreal. Can you imagine? Then in 1917, 143 words a minute on a typewriter. This guy's doing 85 on a typewriter. Oh my lord. And you have to slide over the thing as well. Unbelievable. He's using middle finger for C. I'll be perfectly accurate on a typewriter as well. I think it's been forgiving me this whole time. I notice when I type something wrong, it'll just carry on sometimes. So let's untick forgive errors. And from tomorrow, we'll also untick stop the cursor when an error occurs. So then it'll be more representative of actually typing at work. Oh my God. It's the combination of trying to type the letter C with my middle finger and X with my third finger and not making a single mistake because if I do, then I have to backspace it. So I really don't even know if I'm gonna get back up to the speed I started with, to be honest. Guys, sure? coach is right. If we wanna win, it's on us. Accuracy. Accuracy is higher. Back to Manchester door. Manchester. Look at this. Oh no, a top speed 112.6. 86. 86 average, you know. The official test is tomorrow. Formed a very tight emotional bond with this keyboard over the, the last 30 days. Day 30. One more practice. Very excited. Right. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Let us begin. Oh, no. Oh, it's just all the time. It's all the time. Oh, <laughs> 92. Surely not. Surely not. Let's try again. <laughs> we might have just wasted 30 days of my life. Not the time. Try again, try again, try again. Whoa. 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 What? 108. Oh my god. I think the first test was accurate, and that means that I've progressed on this typing test by seven words a minute in 30 days. I'm actually gutted. I'm actually gutted. I thought my improvement was bigger than that. This is where I hope to show you guys a shot from like day 65 where I do a typing test and just like destroy 150 words per minute. But sadly since day 30 I may have replaced my typing practice with Call of Duty. So this is the end of the video. What did I learn by practicing touch typing for 30 days? Firstly, it takes more than 30 days to form a habit apparently. Secondly, practice makes perfect. With just 2 hours and 30 minutes of practice I 
managed to increase my typing speed by seven words per minute or just under 10%. But more importantly, typing became easier and felt more natural for me in my day-to-day -day life where I actually need it. So you don't need to spend ages practicing typing to get better at it. Know your strengths and weaknesses. You'll naturally be better at typing certain letters than others, so identify them and try to work on them. Use a website like KeyBR to analyze your typing speed and focus on the letters that give you trouble. And while you do this, remember quality over quantity. It's tempting to type as fast as you can all the time when practicing, but this can lead to bad habits in the long run. While practicing, try to type as accurately as you can, even if that means slowing down a bit. This way, I was able to build a foundation of my typing skills and increase the ceiling of my potential speed. One gripe I found doing typing practice is typing practice websites usually only test you on lowercase words without any capitalization, punctuation, or numbers, but in real life, we use all of these characters all the time. So I wonder if it'd actually be better to practice with more realistic text that does include all of these elements. And maybe that's something I'll try in the future. Finally, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. As a student with an internet addiction, I spend a lot of time sat at my desk, uh, usually, usually in this posture. That's why it's been amazing recently to try the FlexiSpot E8 standing desk. It comes in a range of different colors, sizes, and materials of desktop, as well as with accessories like office chairs, filing cabinets, and much more. It took me about an hour to build the desk with easy to follow instructions, and it lets me switch between sitting and standing with just a push of these memory buttons. Not only is this particular rubberwood tabletop an unbelievable aesthetic, the desk has a larger height range, noticeably faster motor, and greater weight capacity than other standing desks that I've used before. If you want to get your own FlexiSpot standing desk or any other FlexiSpot products, make sure to use my link in the description to get 32% off before the end of June 2023. Liam, come check out my typing. Francis, have you been using my Napoloni olive oil?